Battle of the Beasts 14.2 This will see athletes complete a 3 minute max power output of front squats. The bar may be taken from the ground or out of a rack. The athlete may choose any technique they wish to perform the front squat as long as the bar is making contact with the front of the body on the athlete's shoulders. For a successful rep, athletes must start in a fully standing extended position and break parallel at the bottom of the squat. The rep will finish when the athlete reaches full extension at the top of the rep with the hips and knees locked out at the same time. Athletes are allowed to re-rack the bar at any time during their 3 minute time cap. If the athlete is taking the bar from the ground or has dropped the bar after taking it out of the rig, the athlete is the only person that is allowed to make contact with the bar during the 3 minute time period and therefore the athlete must clean the bar up and a squat clean will be allowed to perform your first rep into your next set. Athletes are permitted to use weight belts and knee sleeves to perform their attempt. However, knee wraps and the use of squat suits will not be permitted during Beasts 14.2. And remember guys, once the clock starts, no one else is allowed to touch the bar and the athlete must not change the weight. You have 3 minute time cap to perform as many reps as possible to deliver your maximum power output. Your score is your weight times your reps delivered within the 3 minute time cap. All movements used within the Battle of the Beast qualifiers follow standard CrossFit guidelines, rules and regulations, and therefore anything performed outside of these movements demonstrated will be given as a no rep by the Culture Events judging panel, and therefore your attempt for this ward will become invalid. Have fun and good luck.